can anybody steal your joy? No, not unless you let them. Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel less than what you are unless you allow it. Isn't it true that it really doesn't matter what happens to us in life, it's what we think about what happens to us in life. It's our perspective on how we see life. Whatever we believe in the anchor of our soul is what's going to grow. If we are anchored in sorrow, anxiety, and worry, okay, that's what's gonna grow. By anchoring our soul in joy, everything and everyone around us will be changed. You know, you might even lose some friends. You might, and it might not be a bad thing. What is always trying to rob our joy? Disappointment, disappointment, okay? You know, the Bible says that hope deferred, right? Hope deferred, it really is, is a very dangerous thing. We have, to, we have to protect what we're hoping for. So what happens is you're thinking about something, you, there's something you desire in your heart, and it's taking forever for it to manifest, right? And you get disappointed and you start to think, you know, is God really listening? Like, does he not get it? So disappointment is very, very critical because before we can be disappointed, we have to agree with the voice of disappointment, which is the voice of reason. Disappointment is a product of our brain, our reasoning. If we learn to agree with God and His purpose for our life, then our faith cannot be shipwrecked and disappointment cannot set in.